and first let's just take a close look at the boost and at the spark advance you notice that as I begin to boost spark advance appears 60 the addition is about 21 so that's how I know I'm making ultimate power we want to keep that number around 20 somewhere from 18 to 22 Okay, so we're cruising on the expressway at about 70 miles an hour and there's really no information that I need to monitor at this point. Everything is fine. If there is knock, it's going to show me that there is knock and I'm going to have an audible alarm. I don't need to monitor my air fuel ratio. I know it's 14.7. Uh, I don't need to monitor my coolant because as long as it's fine, it's not going to show up. So basically, I can focus on the road. Now, when I do a little bit of boosting, you're going to see that boost appears. And you saw the air fuel ratio drop and the spark advance. Now we're going to have a short run of about five or six pounds of boost. And you'll be able to see a couple of things. The sum of the two between your boost and your spark advance should remain close to 20. And your air fuel ratio should be in the mid 11s. As this is a pretty heavy load on the engine at this speed, six gear. There we go, five pounds of boost, 16 of timing. See so your air fuel ratio is maintaining. And absolutely no knock retard. That's how you know you're obtaining maximum performance from your car. Do it again. See about a total of 20 and your air fuel ratios in the mid 11s. Now if we were to go into wide open throttle and get it, this is right now set for 16 pounds of boost, uh, you will see that the air fuel ratio will drop a little more steeply, show you that. So there we go. And that is because, of course, we're demanding a lot of the car very shortly, so we want to be rich right there. But not during our part throttle boosting of about five pounds. There we want to be to about 12 and a half. And you notice that there is no knock either way. There's no tipping knock. To the mid 13s, you'll see it drop into the 11s as I lift up, that's normal. So, right there, all the information I need to know, and only when I need to know it. straight on edited so that you can see that we're not editing out or not it's just non-existent at this point the computer has settled the calibration is set in and our performance is just amazing there you go six and 16 that's about 21 and that's where we want to be now we're going to get off the highway and do a little bit of street driving so you can appreciate how these parameters work. Not only during cruising at high speed, but just from stoplight to stoplight. Okay, so we're driving the Special Force Turbo and uh, we wanted to show you some of the performance via the parameters that we're monitoring. So we're going to have a bit of an unedited versions so that you can appreciate that there's absolutely no knock as we boost.
1118 that you see air fuel ratio that actually occurs as soon as I lift up the throttle it is programmed there because the time pulls are really really negative as soon as you lift up and that's what causes it